Oh boy, it's giving me that error again. Oh boy. There we go. Looks like I just have to refresh the page when that happens. I don't have to go through and start all over. Which makes sense. I don't know why I was going through and starting all over every time. That's real goofy of me. Morning, sis. Welcome to the stream. We're going to be wrapping things up here today uh, with our last combined themed critter. Got any big plans this Friday? Yesterday, I was working on the stickers, uh, trying to get the sticker packs ready uh, to at least be announced. Um, I need to work on the packaging a little bit. I need to get cardstock to print out the name of the pack. And then I desperately want to make a stamp uh, to stamp the back of each sticker um, with like my fairy art mother logo. Yeah, cool stuff. Just read your comment. That's that's what I'm responding to. I want to make stamps of uh, my fairy art mother logo. I have it sketched up. I just haven't released it anywhere yet because it's not. I think I might want to make some tweaks to it. We shall see. It will be a mystery for now. Oh, I'm so happy with how I just drew that. Oh my gosh. Hey, good morning, Carter. Welcome to the stream. We're doing our last uh, critter for coffee and critters this week. And I figured we'd, we'd end it on a positive note. So I'm gonna make a little peacekeeper guy. I imagine that he would be uh, this little dude. First of all, I imagine that his body would be like gelatinous. So like jello-like. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with that texture lately. I think it's cute. Um, hey, morning, Brian. Oh, so stamp making is actually pretty simple. You can, don't follow those fancy schmancy tutorials that require you to go buy like a giant fancy carving pad and there's a bunch of different ways that you can do it, right? Um, but one of the ways is, you know, those giant brick erasers that you can get at like the Dollar Tree or something? Um, you can buy one of those and then you draw out your design on a piece of paper with a pencil. It has to be a pencil. Um, and you have to draw, uh, just draw it regularly and then you'll flip it over onto that eraser. So you'll kind of put it onto the eraser as if, um, I, I guess you're just going to sandwich it on there technically. That's a good way of saying it. Um, <laughs> hey Kyle, welcome to the stream. Good to see you again. Um, and uh, you'll put the paper onto the eraser and then you'll press down to transfer the graphite from the pencil onto uh, the eraser. And then you take, you have, this is the one tool you do have to have or not, no, just kidding. You don't have to have it. Um, but it's recommended that you get like a carving tool. It looks like this, right? Hang on. So here's the handle, and then 
and it has a this little metal bit. It's kind of like a little shovel type thing. I hope I'm giving you a good visual here. Uh, like like that. That's what it looks like from the side, right? That's the tool from the side. And it helps you carve it out. So everywhere that's not um, touched by the pencil lead, you'll go through and you'll carve it out. So you're basically removing the negative space uh, around your design. So when you dip your design in ink, the highest level of the ink will only be uh, what you want to show when you stamp it. So that's how you make the stamps. <laughs> Have I done it? No. Do I want to? Desperately. But you can buy these giant rubber pads or you can buy those giant brick erasers that look like, th like this, you know? Big. <laughs> I remember my dearest buddy Joey had an incident with a giant rubber eraser once and I can't look at them the same way anymore. These little guys have no concept of a uh, war. <laughs> yep. Right now it's slightly sprinkling outside. Oh my goodness, I'm on cloud nine. Shop Boys music. Ooh, I will check that out. I'm always hunting for new music. All I do is sit at my desk and work on commissions all day, and I have run, I've memorized like my entire playlist. So, <laughs> any music you have, I would greatly appreciate. For music for the stream, I have to make sure that it's not um, copyrighted and it's gotta be royalty free. So I, I purchased this pack of songs, so that's why we hear it so often. <laughs> Unfortunately, I need to go and um, buy some more songs, but I gotta hold off for just a little bit. It gets expensive. Okay, so we got some little bunny guys here. Oh yeah, I got a Spotify. I don't really use it that often though because I got rid of my Spotify premium um, because I only really used premium when I was commuting to work. So here in San Diego, a 20 minute drive can easily become an hour um, with traffic. Uh, I'm sure you guys can imagine. Um, I'm just getting some a bunch of doodles of these little guys done right now just so I have a good idea of like what their character's like. Um, but, so yeah, I used to use Spotify for everything, but I don't have premium anymore, so I can't have playlists. But if you have links to playlists, I think I can check those out. figure out some different poses for them. There we go. So today I'm going to be doing my Fan Art Friday video. Um, pretty excited for it. Uh, I know it's going to be <laughs> It's gonna take a lot of time. <laughs> For a really detailed illustration, it can take me anywhere upwards of a uh, of um five hours. So I'm hoping that I don't have to subject anyone to five hours. 
of uh, me working on something. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'll try to be quick and efficient and like make a cool design. I think for my designs, I'll put them on um, prints. So prints will be available for that. Um, I can't remember if Redbubble allows fan art. I don't think they do. Um, so I just have to be careful with where I post it. <laughs> it's, it's a super sugary sweet Friday for these little guys. I just imagine them speaking in Animal Crossing voices. You know, that, that gibberish? I love Animal Crossing. I'm obsessed. Yeah, that's my, uh, that's what I, I'll do for the video I post. I'll, I'll record the full thing and then I'll chop it up, um, and condense it into three minutes, um, for my YouTube. But for my Patreon, I give them access to the full thing. Like, the whole thing. Like, start to end. If they want to watch in slow motion and, like, rewind and see how I did something, um, I'm gonna do that. But, it's gonna be long. <laughs> That, that was, that was, that was, that's one of the things I offered. Mm. <laughs> Happy tree friends. Uh, I was one of those um, edgy teenagers who really, really loved Happy Tree Friends. I, it was really hard to watch some of the stuff though, I'll be honest. It got a little brutal really fast. I imagine these little dudes would uh, appear whenever there's like an argument or a dispute. And they would try really hard to like keep the peace. Hence the yin yang type face. Of course I want them to be like gelatinous though. I used to draw these type of things all the time. So drawing it again is like super nostalgic for me. I mean, I have never drawn this character specifically, but something similar. Yes, sis, please do an art video. Get out there, do it. If there's anything stopping you, kick it down. Hey guys, I wanna give you a size reference on what I'm thinking. So I'm gonna draw a hand really quick. Is how I draw a hand. <laughs> I'm sorry. There we go. These little guys would be this big. He's a little grump. They think themselves quite the diplomat. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the stream. If you're just not tuning in, we're working on the Last creature for coffee and critters for the week. Uh, we're doing these little peacekeeper guys and they're tiny. Okay. Yeah, no, Happy Tree Friends absolutely does. You're not wrong. It, it's really just shock humor. Uh, there's really no substance to it. There's no rewatchability. Once you watch the episode, you're done. Uh, <laughs> So I'm, I'm with you on that. Looking back on it, I wouldn't be watching it. I mean, clearly I don't watch it now, but. But for young, angsty 
teenage baby raven who just wanted to shark people, I guess. I was like, this is my favorite cartoon ever. And it obviously wasn't, but, you know. Guilty of being edgy. <laughs> that was me. It's quite, quite the little baby edgelord. Not even gonna front. But I learned. I'm better now, I promise. I promise. <laughs> Oh yeah, I want to go see the new Pikachu movie so bad. I want to go so bad. I gotta make time for it, and oh my god. I've got so much work to do. Again, I was very lucky to get uh, a good number of commissions this week. I think this, this has been the best week for commissions for me. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. So, um... I've been very lucky in that, so I've been busy, but in a happy way. <laughs> know what I mean? Oh, if I were to do this like green and yellow, these little guys would be like little sprite fairies. And I freaking love sprite. I know, you, you know, you know, you're not supposed to drink soda and all that jazz. Oh, I know, I know. But on days when I'm feeling a little risque, go get myself a sprite. Gary, hey! We all knew Ryan was gonna be carrying that movie. The plot could literally be non-existent, but if Ryan was in the movie, that's all we cared about. I saw like a gif of uh, Pikachu dancing and I was shaken to my core. I mean, the animation was so, so good. I was like, geez Louise setting a new standard for movies like this not only that but it was just so cute like they really did so great on pikachu's design i really couldn't have asked for more <laughs> yola <laughs> Oh, sis, I love you. I, I think some people still say it, but they say it ironically. I don't think they, they mean it these days. So it's still cool to say. As long as you're saying it ironically, it's all right. Yeah, the Detective Pikachu movie came out um, two, two days ago, was it? Was it two days ago? Um, and guys, did you see the new Pennywise trailer? Ah! It's scary as hell. I love it. I... But, you know, I guess I've still got that edgy part of me that loves horror movies, so. I really want to see this. And I, and I will. Uh, this is one of those movies I will have to take time to go see. Ooh, wrong one. Mm, yep. Oops. Uh oh. Oopsie daisy. There we go. We fit. I'm so pumped for it. I. I've been lacking good scary movies lately. I've been watching a bunch of stuff on Netflix and Hulu, though. Um, by the way, uh, <laughs> I found a bunch of my old favorite cartoons on Hulu yesterday, thanks to you guys recommending it. So I, um, during my the little lunch break I allow myself, um, I was watching some Flapjack and cutting out stickers. And oh man, it just made my heart so happy. Flapjack is such a dark, dark cartoon, though, rewatching it. Um, it's it's kind of rough, but I still adore it. I think Flapjack's design is just so stinking cute. And his relationship with Captain Knuckles is just... It's everything I wanted. And I've been trying to watch Flapjack, too, but on YouTube... Ah, 
keep on filling in the wrong spaces. Hootsie Daisy. There we go, and then uh, I don't know. The spacing of these guys is a little weird to me. Let's move this sketch over a bit. He's just a little too close for comfort. Ooh! Just popped my collarbone. <gasps> Sis, I have the summer anime recommendation for you! Uh, Never- I think it's called Neverland Wonderland? Or... The Promised Neverland. The Promised Neverland. Oh my goodness, if you like, um, if you like really nicely scripted plot twists, um, if you like beautiful art, endearing characters, uh, interesting character development, like realistic character development, uh, and, um, if you're just in for a good time and it's only 12 episodes right now, they only have the first season out. The Promised Neverland. It's about three kids who are orphans. They grow up there. They grew up in this orphanage that's like pristine and picture perfect. And they, the mother who takes care of them, she's just amazing, right? Um, everyone loves her. Everyone's so happy. Uh, and then kids keep getting adopted, and they say their goodbyes. Well, I'm not gonna spoil it, but the kids aren't getting adopted. Um, one of the three main children, uh, this brave girl, she. And one of her friends who's like, uh, probably, I think he's supposed to be like the kind and caring role. Um, they try to go return a stuffed animal to one of the girls that got adopted. Like, they run outside of the gate, uh, to go find her. And, uh, they find her. All right. <laughs> um, but, uh, she's not in the condition they expected. So, it's full of, um suspense and just from the first episode if you don't like it after the first episode don't watch it don't watch it it's very upfront in the first episode what you're getting yourself into which i really appreciate it doesn't make you wait around a few episodes for it to get good so i highly recommend the promised neverland i still haven't seen the last episode because crunchyroll has the last episode on a premium like are you kidding me I've been trying to sign up for Crunchyroll Premium for a while, but I just keep getting kicked back with errors. It's weird. It's super, super weird. Like, every time I try to sign up, it's like, there's been an error, and then it doesn't let me. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, I guess I'm not signing up then. Like, every single time, and it's happened, like, the past couple of months, and I sent an email to their, um support and stuff and i was like hey guys look this is ridiculous can you please just take my money and they actually responded but now i don't want them to take my money because you can watch it with um you can watch it most things without the premium and i would just rather not pay money at the end of the day i guess so they missed it when they had the chance Pendleton Ward started out on Flapjack. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just now backtracking through um, some of the comments the in the in the chat. Go. But I finished my sticker set yesterday, so I'll be posting um, some pictures of those later on today. Again, unfortunately, I don't have the packaging complete yet. I need to get cardstock and a stamp. So, uh, after I get that, the packaging will be complete. Um, except for, like, the, um, things I'm gonna mail it out with. Ah! Why did I draw that? That wasn't supposed to be drawn in! Darn it, Raven. Perfect. Oh my gosh! I've been drawing on the actual- Oh no! Oh no! I've been drawing on my important layer! <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Well, okay, I guess I'm just gonna leave it there. Y 
Yes, Netflix really needs to invest in The Promised Neverland, but I don't think, um, I don't think they're gonna get it for a minute. Netflix is usually like either really slow to pick up a new anime series or um, they pick it up right when it starts. So we'll see how this plays out. I'm hoping it plays out in our favor. <laughs> we will see. Let me, um, I don't know. If, how do you guys feel about this green and blue? I'm thinking changing it to green and pink. Goblin Slayer. Oh my God. No, 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 no. Uh, no, Goblin Slayer. Ooh. That's a spicy meatball, my friend. That, oof. For those of you who haven't seen Goblin Slayer, there's like a nasty rape scene in the beginning of it. And, uh, not a fan. Not a fan. Like, I love horror movies. I love all that jazz. That's the one subject I don't, I can't look at for entertainment. Can't. Like, I gotta leave the room. Joey, hey! I was just talking about um, that rubber eraser incident. You know, I, I didn't tell them the story, but uh, we were talking about making stamps, and I was telling them, like, oh yeah, you can make uh, stamps out of giant rubber erasers, you know? And then I was like, I have a weird relationship with rubber erasers now because my, bro my buddy Joey got attacked by one. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh god, it was a rough time. Yeah, but I can't look at them the same way still. They make me feel bad. Ryan, I swear. I really, I don't do well with it in any, uh, dirt, any length. Uh, really, unfortunately. I'm a, I'm a bit of a baby about it. Yeah, I'm thinking about changing this blue. I don't, I'm not really feeling it. Yeah, I, I watched the whole series. I, I did watch the whole series. Um, it's just that first part in the beginning. You've got to brace people for that. Like, I hate to say trigger warning, but it, it really is something that, uh, needs a little bit of a heads up. I'm thinking this color might do better. Uh, uh I don't know. I'm not in love with it. I like him looking like Sprite. I enjoy that. That's fun. Okay, cool. And I goofed and I put this layer. Wait a second. Control, copy, control V. Ho ho! Guys, I figured out a way around it. Boom! I created another layer uh, using that. So, ta da! Cool. And then that's what they look like right now. They look like an eyesore. <laughs> I gotta work on that. Uh oh. I haven't seen Clockwork Orange. I have not. Um, I'm, I'm a bit of a walking cardinal shame. Um, there's a lot of classic movies I haven't seen. I haven't seen The Matrix. I haven't seen... Um, Breakfast at Tiffany's, you know, I'm just thinking of things. Um, I, there's a lot of things that I haven't seen, unfortunately. So I don't get a lot of references, or at least I don't know where they originated. So I get a lot of grief for that. Oh, it's on this layer. Shoot. Let me see if I can just pull. Yeah. That little ditty. And then how's that look? How are we looking? It looks okay. It looks just okay. Come by me still. Yeah, I haven't seen Berserk either. I think I saw like a couple of episodes of it, but it was one of those animes that I just, ah, like you guys see what I'm drawing. You can imagine what type of shows I like. <laughs> I'm sure. So. But to each their own. That's what makes the world so cool, is that we're so different. I'm 
I'm trying to go through and like color all of these uh, equally <laughs> as I go, but I think that's gonna bite me in the butt because it's gonna take up a lot of time. But then again, it's like I'm either gonna do it now or I'm gonna do it later, so eh, what's it matter? Yes, Cowboy Bebop. Mm, it's just so aesthetically appealing. Hey there, Ryan. Welcome to the stream. What's Ninja Scroll? Oh, jeez. Sorry, Gary. I was reading what you wrote. That's rough. That's a, that's a pretty aggressive story. <laughs> Anytime- See, it's like, I love scary movies. Because I know what to expect. When it comes to anime, I have no idea. You cannot predict an anime. Because one minute they could be just screaming and getting powerful, and the next minute they've died and they've been resurrected and they're destroying a planet. Like, you can't predict anything. <laughs> That color. Let's try this one. New, not a fan of that color. Let's try. Oh, dang it. I keep messing it up. Boop, 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 boop. Yep, that will do. No, so that's not a fan of that color. Boop, boop, boop. Nope. Too much. Boop. Nope. Boop, nope. Dang. And that'll do. It'll do. Hello there, puppy. Got my pup trying to get attention. Oh no! <laughs> oh, My Hero Academia, they're not going to be picking up new episodes until, um, I think, later on this summer uh, for season three. So, no episodes have come out yet. Um, Netflix is, like I said, uh, Netflix is one of those things that, like, either they pick it up right when it comes out, which they did with My Hero Academia, or they uh, really just don't pick it up at all, from what I've seen. Or they pick it out when it's all done. So they're posting My Hero Academia as it's released, uh, but we won't be seeing more stuff until this summer. Which is unfortunate, but they just came out with the movie, so you can imagine that their team is exhausted. I've got my puppy, like, really trying to get some attention down here. Sweet girl, I'm trying to draw. Cool at it, you're being disrespectful. She, like, tries to climb up in my lap. Down, get down, I love you. <laughs> she, like, tries to jump up. It's so cute, but also, like, so, so annoying. She's such a good girl, though. She doesn't know that she's doing anything bad. She's just like, oh, I'm just trying to get some love. She's like the purest puppy on the planet. And I can vouch by that. I truly, truly believe that she is the purest thing on the planet. Don't watch Ninja Scroll. I'm- oh man. Gary, if you're saying not to watch it, I'm scared. What's wrong with it? I guess like my reason for making them look like sprite colors is because one, I love sprite, two, whenever there is a imbalance with my stomach I go and I grab a sprite and I feel like it helps me I know realistically the sugar doesn't help but I feel like it helps me so maybe that's what these little guys think too maybe they're like they think they're helping people but in reality they're they're not <laughs> they're truly not the 
these little triangle shaped eyes they make almost anything instantly cute something about it I can't quite peg why Heck yeah, Attack on Titan's beautifully done. Um, a lot of people did, didn't like it, I think, mainly because of the hype. You know, when an anime comes out, there's, like, mad hype for it. So there was a lot of hype for Attack on Titan. So a lot of people just didn't want to watch it, I think. Uh, personally, I loved it. Um, when I joined the Marine Corps, uh, it was around the Attack on Titan time. So me and my, me and my buddy Tiffany, uh, I'd known her since fourth grade. We were both really big into Attack on Titan, and we we're like, "Yeah, we're gonna join the military, and if we ever need to fight Titans, we're gonna fight Titans." Like we were such goofballs. <laughs> uh, being a weeaboo makes it so easy for recruiters to prey on you. <laughs> oh I heard that they're gonna be doing a live action of Legend of Zelda. Um, I'm nervous for that because we all know how live actions go. I don't. So I think the one live action that I liked was uh, the Death Note one, but I'm not talking about the Netflix Death Note one. No, not that one. I'm talking about um, the Japanese one. There was one that they uh, did in Japan way before they even thought about doing it um, for Netflix. I had it. I have it on DVD. That's like, that's how old we're talking. It's it, it's old as dirt. But um, yeah, I thought that one was pretty cool. But they changed the story a lot. Instead of um, Misa Misa being obsessed with uh, Light Yagami, um, she was just like passively his girlfriend, and she gets shot. Like, she gets shot. <laughs> Oh, and Gary, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't think they're gonna be doing Oh, is that true? Uh... Get Orlando Bloom to play his mic. <laughs> you know who I think would be fun to see as Link? I'm not saying he'd be amazing at it or really looks like him, but who would be fun? Um forgive me. Uh, the kid who played Spider-Man in the newest Avengers. I think he's like the most precious cinnamon bun. I think he'd be cute as Link. But that's just my opinion. Go through and add. Oh no, I forgot to... Yeah, not broke. Don't don't fix it. They, they it's like they're they're really just trying to cash in on the fandom, which is funny and also sad because they're very clearly not in it to make good content. They're just in it to make the moolah, which you know it's unfortunate, but we see it happen all too often. For Fan Art Friday today, I'm going to be doing something Ghibli themed. Uh, so I'm getting into that mindset here. <laughs> if that makes sense. These little guys kind of remind me of Peeps. Yes, I'm so excited. What time? I'm having such a hard time figuring out when we're starting. 
I am so ready to get tragic stats. Because the character that I'm playing um, for D&D, I want her to be uh, super gullible and ditzy and just... She's gonna cause like a lot of problems without meaning to. Um, just to spice things up. Because I've, I've played the thoughtful and methodical character, I've done that. I've played the wisecracking character, I've done that. But I haven't done like the super ditzy, gullible uh, goof. And I really want to do that, so I'm excited. Uh, and I hope that my stats complement what I have in mind. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, great. Okay, cool. I'm gonna set aside that time then. Cause I was like, <laughs> I was like, I don't know when we're starting D&D on Saturday. So I'm not committing to any engagements until the evening because I have D&D with you. And then I also have uh, a thing called Tavern Night. Um, it's where a bunch of um, buddies of mine that play D&D, um, we get together and they're just now kicking off season two for our Tavern Night campaigns. So, uh, they're doing the big announcement tonight, which I'm excited for. Um, all of the characters that um, were played uh, last time are, have been retired. Um, so they'll be inhabiting the new world that we play in, but we can't play as them anymore, which breaks my heart because um, if you guys know, I, I had a old lady character named Ma and... Uh, and she was like the wisecracking old lady and I, t I loved her so much. She was really fun. Um, she was a big hit. Um, but I can't play her anymore. But our DM, Ian, gets to take over her now, which which will be great because Ian will do her, do her justice. You got so many different times to like have at the go. I'm just like, dang, we have people from all over playing this campaign. It's like the most exciting thing. I'm very, very pumped for it. I think I'll give these guys little, little eyebrows. Little fuchsia brows. Hmm. I don't know, I feel like it's just lacking something. Let's see. Eh, yeah, I like that. That'll do. Oh, smart. Smart. It's always good that if you haven't if there's an app for it, it's a blessing. So, uh, little, uh, I, I guess, I don't really think it's shameful, um, I'm proud of myself. Um, I finally learned how to play solitaire, like, I committed to it, I downloaded an app, and, um, even after going through the tutorial, I still didn't get it. Like, usually I pride myself on my ability to follow directions, but I just couldn't get it, I didn't get it. Um, so finally my my boyfriend showed me um and i now know how to play solitaire and i'm very proud of myself i'm officially an old lady da -da -da. oh it's the exact same color i used for the cheeks dang it <laughs> I'm gonna have to go see it sometime soon. Yeah, I'll just make their eyebrows this color. It ties it in better. That fuchsia just stands out too strangely. Perfect. <laughs> it, it. I've only ever seen like elderly people really play solitaire, um, and. I've always wanted to learn, like, I remember I would see my 
my ex-stepmom, she would play it a lot. And I always thought that was really cool. I was like, oh, wow. But I always thought she was playing with other people. I didn't realize that Solitaire was a game you played by yourself. Like, Solitaire. Like, no, now that I say it out loud, duh. <laughs> but, but it never occurred to me. <laughs> oh, man. The things you find out at 6.46 in the morning. <laughs> That's why it's called Solitaire, Raven. Oh, my goodness. I'm a wing dingus. There we go. I think these little guys are shaping up to be quite admirable. That's not the peace sign, is it? I feel like I just drew like the Mercedes logo. Opportunities. Okay. Pet shop boys. I'll have to look into it. I will make it a point to check that out. And then I'll let you know what I think on Monday. Let me write it down really quick. Because after the stream, everything that's typed here goes away. Until you rewatch it. So, opportunity is offered. Pet shop. Boys. Perfect. Got it. I'll check it out. Thanks for the recommendation. I've been listening to a lot of Rainbow Kitten Surprise. I love them they're so cool so cool so i grew up uh listening to a lot of bluegrass and a bunch of like crazy stuff right um my dad was really big into that uh so it just has it just has like this certain tune that feels like modern but also gives me a bit of bluegrass which i don't know if that's what they intend but that's the vibe that i get um and i love it it just reminds me of home a little bit and the main singer's voice is just so soothing. He, he does this vibrato at like the most appropriate moments. Like he doesn't overuse it. I mean, of course in his live performances he does, but in the, <laughs> in the studio recording ones, it's very tasteful. Which you would expect, you know. Well, thank you, Carter. I appreciate the recommendation. So I should be the one thanking you, huh? <laughs> All right, I think these little guys are good to go. I'm pretty happy with them. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty happy with them. I'll take this time to kind of give you guys a little work tour. Oh yeah, I love jazz music. I love it. I just found a royalty-free playlist here on YouTube for jazz songs. And uh, I might just have to do like um, a 1920s themed um, Oh heck yeah, sis, I can do that. Easy peasy. If you wanted like a sticker set of Game of Thrones chibis, I could do that too. Um, I'm, try I'm trying to make as many stickers as humanly possible because they're so satisfying to make. <laughs> they're so fun. Um, speaking of, since we finished our little critter guys here, uh, our little peacekeepers, um, let me show you guys some stuff that I've been working on. Uh, this one. So, uh, these are the stickers that I've been making. We have a little, uh, here, let me zoom in for you guys. Eh. Eh. Ta-da! It's about, um, an inch and a half, or it's about, uh, it's, uh, it's two inches by an inch and a half. Um. So this one's pretty big. Um, I'm really happy with how it came out. Big bag voodoo daddy. Oh, let me check that out too. Bless you guys, big bag voodoo daddy. Okay. Oh, 
I love I'm loving these names too. Like the names of these bands. That's so fun. But um yeah, so here is one of my stickers. Um this is the biggest one in the pack. So whenever I make sticker packs, I plan on having one large one. Uh it's probably best if I just I, I use my hands a lot when I'm talking to you guys, and I realize that you can't see that, so it's counterproductive. So I'm gonna have one large one, two medium ones, and then three small ones. That's my plan for each sticker pack. Uh, and it'll be in a nice little package with the, the, the name up top, and then it'll have the cool card backing, and it'll be stapled, and it'll be lovely. So yeah, uh, that's one of them. And then, uh, you guys are the first to see these stickers, by the way, like the full set. And then we have uh, this little paw potion. It's one of the smaller ones, but um, it was actually printed a lot larger than I expected. Uh, originally, it was supposed to be the same size as this. Um, these were supposed to be my small three. <laughs> but as you can see, um, it looks like I kept just the height of this and I didn't think about like the width. So I probably should have made them smaller um, because they ended up being bigger than that one, which I'm looking at it here and it's very obvious, but when I printed it, it surprised me, which is goofy. King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Yes! <laughs> I love that! Gizzard. I'm literally writing these down over here. I don't know if you guys hear me scribbling away. Yeah, you guys are special. You got a little special spot in my heart. Alright, and then we have this little goldfish in a potion bottle. And... <laughs> I'm an idiot, and I think this is hilarious. <laughs> the idea of someone trying to clean a fish tank through an opening that tiny cracks me up. Uh, and then down here we have some of my favorites. We have uh, the kitten head potion. We have a little magic bone. And unfortunately, you can't really see it, but there's like a swooshy line. Um, a swooshy line right there to show like it's also a potion but um, unfortunately like the coloring for it just kind of it's not vibrant enough there I, I need to rework that in the future uh, and then we have one of my absolute favorites it's the puppy ice cream hang on let me rotate it for you so you get the, the full experience boom Ta -da! I'm really happy with how this one came out um, yeah, it looks like a baited fish. <laughs> it could be any type of fish, really. It could be a little shark with a, a floppy tail. Could be anything. Point is, it is a living creature inside of a potion jar. Oh, goodness gracious. I know it's coffee and critters, guys, but I didn't get my coffee this morning. <laughs> So yeah, this is my sticker set. This is my pets and potions pack. Um, I got this really cool cardstock for the packaging to use in the back. So I have these baggies that I'll be fitting very snugly with this cardstock. Um, again, I'm talking with my hands. <laughs> um, and then I'll be printing out the label and putting it on top and then stapling it, making it all official and pretty. Um, but does anyone know how to get wrinkles out of a plastic baggie? <laughs> the bag that- the set of plastic baggies that I bought, everything is wrinkled. Like, everything is wrinkled. And it kills me. And I desperately want these to be straight, so I'm thinking of steaming them? I think I might have to do that. Yeah, now that I say it all out, I'm gonna have to do that. I can just, uh tape them to a coat hanger and put it above a pot of boiling water. That's what I'll do. I'll try that. <laughs> Thanks sis, I'm glad you like them. Um, these were, this is like a test run really to kind of see like what the sticker making process is. And if you guys are ever interested in a tutorial on how to make stickers, uh, I can get that going because now I can successfully say that I have made stickers. <laughs> and um, I think the method that I use, you can use on almost any program really as long as it has the outlining feature um 
but you're pretty much good. Leave them flat and put a heavy object on them. Yeah, but I wonder how long it would take though. Like I I have these crystal um, sheets, like these these cuts. I think it's biz not it's not bismuth, but I have these crystal coaster things that I bought. They're not meant to be used for coasters, but I thought it'd be cool to use them for coasters because I'm pretty lame. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I've been using those to hold down my stickers, but I'd need to use books. Plastic doesn't stick. Oh no! Okay, then books are really are my only option then. Thanks for letting me know, Gary. I was gonna find out the hard way. <laughs> oh, that wouldn't be any fun. Really quick, I think it'd be fun to take a trip down memory lane and just kind of look at some of the old, older critters that we did. Uh, these were the present pixies from our sky themed week. This is, was the breakup bat. She's she's delivering a breakup letter. This was from yesterday. This is was our cemetery sirens. This one was really fun. I really liked it. Um, here's our coral cat. God, it's horrifying. I'm not a fan. Our sky whale. I, this one was one of my favorites of all time. Oh, get your pancakes, Joey. We're going to be wrapping it up here shortly. So if I don't see you when you come back, I hope you have a great Friday and even better weekend. And then this was our little delivery pigeon, uh, Poppy Seed. Joe, he's, he, I love him so much. I want to develop him as an actual character in my comic. The Dodo Duo. I love them. They're <laughs> chasing after people and yelling, fashion! Our dragon dragonfly from Sky Week. Our gnome officer, the gnome lease. They're popping out of bushes and they they uh, they get paid in donuts. I love them. He's a reoccurring character now. Uh, here, here's one of the originals. Oh man, this is a throwback. Oh, thanks, Carter. I appreciate it. This is this is stuff that I'm really not confident in. Like the stickers, I am confident in because um, I I felt really good about the the coloring for those. But the coffee and critters, these are ones that are I have an hour to concept sketch line work color. So it's <laughs> these they don't come out as great as my other works do. But I'd like to go through and refine them sometime, given more time. Uh, that was our gravestone golem. Here's our uh, kelp seahorse. Uh, I think Gary, you picked the colors out for this, right? That was really good. Oh, that's my name. This is uh, a fake lily. Uh, this was back when we were doing actual line work and uh, regular shading. Um, you can tell the texture is way different. Ah, there's my lady. Oh, I love her so much. I love her so much. Mary Hoppins. Mary Hoppins, an absolute charmer she is. There's our cat owl, the cowl. Uh, <laughs> I do want to reach on this sometime. It's just so creepy. And then we have our um, babbling uh, algae. What was it? What did we name it? Um, morning algae mites. That's what we named it. Yeah, these little guys. They're so cute. Then, uh, oh man, another throwback to our first week. This is week one of Coffee and Critters right here. This is... Um, stone pups they got like little little hearts there's our <laughs> raccoon delivery service from our delivery week he was really fun i love him uh the joke was if you don't tape a snack to the top of the box he's gonna dig through and find a snack it's uh, the speediest service around but it does come at a price <laughs> I imagine that having a cowl as a pet would be crazy annoying. Like, it would just hoot you awake, and it wouldn't have, like, cute little jelly beans to, like, step on you with. It would have these giant claws. Like, oh, it would be so inconvenient. Here are our nighttime sky jellyfish for our sky themed week. Here are our sky shibas. Oh, goodness. I love them so much. She's getting a good stretch in. This is our, this is again back to the older coloring style that we were doing, um, very cell shading. Um, this is our somber swamp thistle. This is for our water plants week. Uh, here is our uh, stone toad. It's like king, king of stones. Oh, that one's just, I don't want to talk about that one. That was real bad. 
and there are little spiders. This is the first one we ever did, ever, ever. And it's like this little brick guy. That's this is the whole thing that started it. This is what gave me the inspiration for coffee and critters. <laughs> Was a, a little brick spider that hides on top of other bricks. Cause you know how if you're walking around, you see some bricks that are like, some buildings have it stylized where there are random bricks sticking out. Yeah, that's that's what he is. Um, but yeah, so that was a little walk down memory lane. Um, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, I imagine that it would meow you awake, yeah. A meow? Oh yeah. But I imagine their meow would have um, like an ominous echo to it. Like a creepy echo, like you know how owls like go whoo, and it's like kind of creepy? I imagine the meow would be very similar. <laughs> Recreating that would be almost impossible. <laughs> But all right, guys, so we wrapped up this week. Uh, so um, as you know, here on Copying Critters, we try to alternate it. We do it uh, one week. I pick a theme. The next week, you guys pick a theme. So I will be putting... Um, sounds like from an adult song. <laughs> um, but uh, so I'll be putting um, some theme options on my social medias, uh, on my Twitter. If you guys follow my Twitter, um, I'll be putting the voting poll on there. Uh, so you guys can pick what theme we're going to do next week. I'm excited to see what you guys select. Uh, I'll give you guys three options and we'll go from there. So I'm going to hop off of here. Uh, I'll be working on the Fan Art Friday here later on today. And I'll be posting that here on YouTube. Uh, the condensed three minute version. Uh, of course, my Patreon. So we'll get access to the full length video along with a poster version of all the coffee and critters we did this week. So if you're interested in getting any of those rewards, uh, you can... Uh, check out my Patreon at the Fairy Art Mother. Um, I should drop a link in the com in the description from now on. Um, but I've got a lot of cool rewards on there if you guys are interested. And the highest reward tier is like nine dollars a month, so less than a uh, Spotify Premium. You get access to all sorts of fun art and rewards and enters uh, for raffles where you can get stickers and fun stuff. So if you don't want to pay for a sticker but you want to support me. Uh, and you want a chance to win a sticker, that's a good way to do it. So, anyways, enough of me plugging. Let's get out of here. You guys have a great Friday, and I'll see you on Monday.